So you guys seemed like you had so much fun on this yeah. set. I mean, there was, in addition to the comedy, like lots of physical comedy, the Pratt Falls. How much were you actually involved with, with doing those stunts? We did a lot of our yeah. stunts. We I think we were stunt. in the entire thing, except yeah. for like when there are big stunts, like. I would do most of mine because, you know, uh, without sounding like vain, the comedy timing is important. So like sometimes a, a stunt person might not understand the, how the joke has to be, but they want to throw themselves out of a window. That's where yeah. you draw. Like one time I my, my stunt guy had to go out of a window. I in the movie at all because I had I a dance you did double. Either. Yeah. I had a dance double, but the dance is actually cut. So it really, <laughs> so I think I'm throughout the whole movie. Yeah, you didn't dance, huh? Yeah. They kind of cut it. <laughs> cut that part. <laughs> they yeah. cut that part that I rehearsed for a month. Right. All right. <laughs> Well, that's really impressive then, you guys. I mean, there was a lot of like going through the window, like you said, yeah. in the fight. So Yeah, that was fun. So it was mostly me. Yeah, mostly me in the fight <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Uh, I love doing that stuff, though. I'm, you know, you got to take one for the team and fall down and do it and look <laughs> yeah. goofy. Yeah, you definitely, like, with physical comedy, there's definitely yeah. a lot of bruises. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. So did you go home, like, every night, like, rubbing I actually did iced? get a really bad bruise when I got kicked in the groin once uh, he missed. And uh -huh. he hit my thigh and I had a bruise for, like, a week. So yeah, you get a little bruise yeah. up here and there, but you know what? Hey, first world problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a bad job to have, right? Yeah. And you guys had a lot of kids on set too. The three Love little ones. A lot of kids. They were great. <laughs> they were great. They were great. And yeah. there's usually kids could end up being. Some actors say never work with kids or animals because it's just there's no. You don't. You could be there all day. We got lucky with these kids. Yeah. They and, the, really... and the dog was pretty minimal in the movie. Yeah, that's we kind of had a dog in the movie. But we had like so many sets of twins because like at first they're newborn and then right. they grow up and so it was like there was just I we mean a, a nursery there. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> imagine you got a set of twins and then you have to have another set of twins for legal reasons when they swap yeah. out the twins. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with a lot of babies running around <laughs> or know. getting carried around. My first movie husband and a lot of children. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. It sounds like you guys are well versed in the kid realm now. Yeah, we got lucky. I remember us thinking that we got pretty lucky. Yeah, the kids are awesome. Yeah. Well, the other interesting thing I think about this movie is that you guys spoof so many different movies. I mean, movies that are like just barely coming out now, yeah. even like that's yeah. how timely Evil it is. Evil Dead hasn't even come out yet. We yeah. spoofed it. Uh, spoofed Fifty it. Shades of Grey. It's just a book. Yeah. Who reads books? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's really amazing. So, do you guys think that fans will be able to appreciate the movie even if they're not familiar with every single movie you actually spoofed? That's interesting. Good question. Yeah. What do you think? I think they'll get I think it. So the yeah, I think it's really funny, and I think um, I think a lot of the stuff like people will understand and. And yeah. Well, I remember with, like watching the screening last night when the Fifty Shades of Grey. I remember you walk into the door and the audience has no idea, and then he goes it's Christian Grey, and then the whole audience goes, "Oh, yeah. Yeah. there's just like, oh, okay, that they went there. Yeah. Oh, they went there." <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of laughter in the screening. Like people definitely appreciate it. So. All of oh, those. Yeah. yeah. So then, um, do you guys have a favorite part that was spoofed, or a favorite movie within those spoofs? Oh, Ooh, Mama yeah. for me. I loved yeah. spoofing Jessica Chastain and putting on the wig. That was so much fun. It was just like, yeah. I got to be badass. I kind of just stay a square throughout the whole movie, you know. Uh, so for me, it was I, I, it was fun to play uh, the laboratory monkey trainer spoofing uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes and having, you know, just being a complete moron. I like playing a dumb guy. It's fun. Because in real life, I'm a genius. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you guys very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.